Hello you guys! I'm so, so happy that you guys are here with me today. Today you guys, we are going to be focusing on really doing a good deep stretch with our backs as well as our core, which honestly you guys, our back and our core work simultaneously together, right? So we want to make sure that they're strengthened, that they're stretched out, that they're ready to go, and that we're taking really good care of them, okay you guys? So we're going to get right into it. I want you to clasp your arms behind your back and just pull. And I want you to kind of over exaggerate this to really stretch out that back. So a lot of times we do a shoulder stretch this way, but I want you guys to exaggerate that and stretch out that lower back. And we're going to hold here for about 30 seconds. Okay. So every time I have you guys hold a stretch, I'm going to have you hold for about 30 seconds. So when we get into the stretch, I want you to stretch until you feel tension and then hold there. And throughout the stretch, if you can go a little further, I want you to do that, okay? This one's making me a little shaky. About five more seconds here, then I'm going to actually have you go forward. Breathe. Awesome job. All right, now I'm going to have you guys go forward and stretch out that back. And throughout these stretches, you're gonna get stretches. You're gonna feel this in the back of your legs. You're gonna feel this in your shoulders. And hopefully throughout that back. You can round that neck down a little bit more. Beautiful job, you guys. This is definitely a change of pace. All right, release those arms, and I want you to grab your shoulders and rock side to side. So this one isn't super stagnant. It's not, um, we're not holding a stretch, but we're keeping that back stretched and um, just adding a little dynamic movement. Hang that head. Kind of like a rag doll. I want you to feel a little bit like a rag doll here. Go lower if you can. All right, now I want you to put your hands on your shin and I want you to look up and really curve that back, okay? So we're here. I want you to, again, try to exaggerate that stretch. Don't over stretch it if it starts to feel, feel painful, of course. Don't go that far. But stretch there. Good job, you guys. And if you're up here, that's okay, okay? You can be at your shins. I want you to be there. Hold that stretch. Beautiful, beautiful job, you guys. And just breathe. This is a time to slow down. Awesome job. Okay, now we're going to get into a triangle stretch. So I'm going to have you guys start on the right, on your right side. So I want you to get into a wide stance and I'm going to have you come over and I'm just going to have you reach as far as you can. Okay. So grabbing that right ankle with that right hand and that left arm is shooting up. Awesome job guys. Oh, feels so good. I'm Loving these longer stretches that I have each week. I want to make sure that you guys can feel that stretch in your back. If you can't feel it, I want you to widen your legs a little bit um, and really get deep into that stretch. If you're here, that's totally fine too, okay? Wherever you feel that stretch, you're going to, again, feel it in the back of your leg as well. But I want you to reach, 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 reach. Pull down a little bit more. And come up. Whew, shake it out a little bit, and we're going to go to the left side. So shooting that hip out, coming down to that ankle, that left ankle with that left hand, and reach, 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 reach. And holding here for 30 seconds. Beautiful, beautiful job, you guys. Try to go a little deeper in that. See if you can stretch out that side body, that oblique, even more. 
breathe, fall into it. Great job, you guys. Whew. Awesome, awesome job. Now I'm gonna have you just pull to the right side. So I want both of your hands as if you're like trying to catch, like you're catching a football or catching it and tucking, but I want you to come all the way over and just hold here, okay? So really, you guys, just getting a deep stretch in that oblique. Feels kind of awkward, but it's necessary. And I want you to try to keep your um, feet facing forward and keep your hips as um, straight, <laughs> if straightforward as you can. Of course, it's not gonna be completely straightforward, but I want you to focus on really just that oblique rather than turning those hips, okay? And focus on that belly breathing while you're at it. And release. And let's switch to the other side. Trying to keep those hips forward. Those feet definitely face forward. And turning to that left side now, or the opposite side of what you were on last time. Great job, you guys. Try to go a little deeper, a little further. And release. Shake it out a little bit. All right, now we're gonna come down, you guys, and we're going to get just get into a kneeling lunge. I like this one for a hip flexor too, so we've done this one um, with other exercises, but I want you to lean forward and I want you to push that knee almost as if you're pushing it into the ground, okay? So we're really gonna stretch out that back, okay? So left knee forward, I want you to be leaning into that knee and then pushing away from it, as if you're trying to just push that knee away from you into the ground, okay? And if you wanna come up, you can come a little closer um, to get you know, a little deeper stretch in that back. And you're gonna notice it in the front of uh, your leg on the opposite side as well. Stretch a little further, push a little more. Whew. And release, awesome. Let's switch sides. So we're pushing forward with that right knee and or we're leaning into it, right? So we can push it forward. So first put your weight into it, grab those hands, stack them and push away. Good job, you guys. Breathe, baby, breathe. Couple more seconds here, and then release. Awesome job, you guys. All right, now I'm gonna have you lay on your backs, all right? And I'm gonna have you put your left foot, or your left ankle, right under your knee, and I'm gonna have you grab underneath that leg that's kind of at a 90 degree angle, and we're just gonna pull here. I want you to, if you can, have your shoulders off the ground. If you can't, that's totally fine. Just You can just be here. You'll feel it in that left glute as well, but this is also so, so good for that back. And just hold here. You're gonna be working those abs a little bit. shake it out a little bit and take that right foot that right ankle put it right under that left knee 90 degree angle and pull it in again if you want to have your head down your shoulders on the mat rather than up that's totally fine
and release. Come up. Okay. Now I'm going to have you lay back again, you guys. And instead of crossing over, we're just going to hold our leg here. Okay. So just grab one leg and bring it right into your chest. If you want to, again, you can lift those shoulders. I am going to stay right here. Keep breathing. And release. Bring that opposite leg and pull that into your chest. Beautiful job, you guys. Try to stretch that leg that's down. Try to push that too. Down into the ground, even away from the body. Really just getting that full stretch. Great job, you guys. Now I'm going to have you grab both and just hug here, okay? Get into kind of a shell. If you want to rock a little bit, you can. It's so good for that spine, really kind of massaging that spine. And release. Why don't you guys give me a full body stretch? Head to toe. Just because it feels really good right now. And we are into honoring ourselves and doing what feels good, right? Reach, reach, reach. All right, you guys. Now I'm going to have you take your knees and have them facing left. And take your shoulders. And we're just going to face right, okay? We're just going to hold here. You can lay your arms out. Keep breathing. Stretching that side body and even into, um, you know, that entire back. Come back and let's switch sides. Sorry I'm facing away from you. <laughs> Put your arms up above your face, you'll really feel that extra stretch all along that oblique. Couple more seconds. Awesome job. Now I'm going to have you stay laying on your back and I'm just going to have you put your feet all the way up. Okay. And I'm just going to have you hold here. If you do have some sort of, um, I don't have anything, but if you have like a shirt or a towel, you could put that across your legs and just hold here. But because we don't have any equipment today, we're just going to hold here. And if you want to, you can be here, but you're going to get the best stretch in that back by lifting those shoulders. Great job, you guys. And release. All right, we are going to get on all fours. All right, we're going to do a little cat dog action, a little cow action, whatever you want to call it. But we're going to actually get on our knees and I'm going to have you put that booty up in the air, get, or sorry, on your knees, on your elbows, you're also on your knees. And I want you to put that booty up in the air as if you're doing cat, right? No, this is cat, dog <laughs> or cow. And I want you to really press 
those hips into as if you're trying to press them into the ground, okay? And you'll feel it a lot on your upper back, almost even into those shoulders. The further out you come, you'll feel it even more. Beautiful job, you guys. Now I'm gonna have you come into all fours. Put, actually I'll show you this way. Take your left arm, put it to your um, right hip, and I want you to just pull here. Again, facing away from you guys. I always feel so weird when I'm facing away from you guys. <laughs> You'll feel it in those abs and those obliques and into those shoulders. All right, release and take that right arm. We're going to put it to the left hip and hold. Beautiful job, you guys. I hope that these are helpful for you. I hope that you guys enjoy these longer stretches, focusing on certain areas of the body. You guys can release there. Stretch it out a little bit, rotate a little bit. Whew. Thank you guys so much for showing up with me today. You are incredible. Um, I'm so proud of you for showing up even to these 15 minute um, stretches because they're so, so good, right? We have to definitely move our bodies and do all the things in order to build muscle, to be able to, you know, stay active and do the things that we need to do. But then we also need to honor our bodies by recovering with stretching, with eating all of our macros, our proteins, fats, and carbs, and um, stretching and staying hydrated, right? So. There's that. I'm so proud of you guys. Have an incredible rest of your day, and I will chat with you guys later. Bye, guys.